Gar wrestlers have been a part of wrestling for a long time. As a matter of fact, uh, as you've watched the history of wrestling, you discover that there were some unusual girl wrestlers even back in the 1800s. They didn't get much opportunity, but every once in a while, the traveling shows that went from one coast to the other featured a girl who was willing to take on anybody, regardless of whether it was a man or a woman. T we're going to show you in this issue Leilani Kai, a young lady from Hawaii, who is going to be facing Wendy Richter, the Dallas Cowgirl. And she is a mighty, mighty uh, tough individual to handle. But those, these two girls are among today's best. Boyd Pierce is ready to introduce you to these young ladies. Let's give Boyd a chance. This event, special girls match, one fall to a finish in the blue corner, making their first appearance in Houston, Texas at 130 pounds. The Pretty Miss Wendy Ritzter. And across the ring, her opponent at 140 pounds in the red corner from Honolulu, Miss Lilani Kai. Your referee, Danny McShane. Lilani Kai, whose home is in the Hawaiian Islands. And the young lady, a Dallas cowgirl. And she's sure not a cowboy, I'll tell you that. And this one, one fall with no time limit. Leilani Kai is a young lady who is inclined to get rough in typical Texas style. And Leilani Kai has no aloha spirit. Referee is Irish Danny McShane. And we square away now with our first look at Wendy Richter. Wendy is the girl in white, the blonde girl. She is the Dallas cowgirl. She is the, well, she is the girl who has been taken down but managed to reverse the misfortune and come up on top. So, Wendy, I hope she won't mind if I call her Wendy. Is caught in the hammerlock. And the hold now has been switched. It is the same hold, but let's just see where she puts her foot. She put her best foot forward, I'll tell you. That time she came up there right fast and right well. I tell you, these are two husky girl wrestlers. They are surely not the dainty female type. Inside step over to hold. Danny McShane watched for the shoulders, make sure that they were not in contact with the canvas. There's a nice rollover and she comes up with a double bar toe hold, which of course may be technical to you, but what it means is she's got a good hold that locks up the legs. And um, Wendy Richter is riding Top Gun right now, as a cowgirl from Dallas should. So Wendy has the footwell Placed. Leilani Kai now has made the made the, oh she made the ropes and I bet she wished she hadn't. We call a bar to hold. One foot is in behind the knee as it is in this particular case. Or sometimes you're applying the hold. You might put your own leg in there and give you something to pull against. And Wendy comes back saying idea and she drops her weight in there solidly so fans here holler for wendy which is fairly natural we have a lot of texans in the audience and so we don't have many hawaiians i don't think reverse chin lock it catches wendy and could keep her in trouble Come on, 
Leilani hangs on to the head and she hangs on to it partly by leaning in there and capturing the hair. Danny McShane giving warning to Leilani. Leilani listens to the warnings, but not very well. And she now is trying to take some of the spunk and some of the fight out of the girl from Dallas. She hit and hit hard that time. I, I, those things jar you, and I can imagine that Wendy, who is uh, not a veteran in the wrestling game. Whoa! I take back what I said. Wendy executed that with all of the ability of a veteran, got herself out of trouble, and promptly reversed the situation as far as Leilani Kai was concerned. Front headlock. And Danny McShane trying to check the hold and having his problems. So Wendy's fans are having an opportunity now to, to yell for her, and you can probably hear voices in the background, and all of them are for Wendy Richter. McShane now trying to break this, and Wendy has given the break, but uh, I think you saw that uh, the girl from the Aloha State was very unsympathetic and took advantage of it. Five minutes have gone by. There is no time limit on this match. There is a one fall limit, however, and Leilani steps in with an inside step over toe hold. That'll help her cause. Changing the pressure on that leg and changing the the place where she punishes it. So while it's still a leg lock, there you see she stuck her foot in behind the knee as she dropped, which added another dimension to the to the hold. Wendy Richter and a rip across the face and face like that just doesn't deserve that kind of punishment. Irish whip and she come in there to land on that arm and land hard. So this keeps Wendy bottled up. And I can't tell which girl was hollering about having her fingers pulled, but I believe it was Wendy, and she was getting by referee, uh, Leilani was getting by referee Irish Danny McShane and applying pressure to less than the required number of fingers. Armbar. She slips in there with it. Armbar well applied. And the referee steps in. He recognizes the good hold and asks her if she wants to capitulate. And some hair pulling there, or was it pulling by the, by the trunks? McShane is trying tenderly to find out, but uh, Leilani just looked at him, up at her with her big brown eyes and said, would I lie to you? And Danny believed her as you would do. It's trouble now for Wendy Richter, the Texas girl, as Lalani Kai opens up to punish her. The pounding and the pressure, using that top rope as a means of garroting her, and a snap and a hard snap. So Lelani has Wendy now readier for a fall than at any time since the bell rang to start this match. Oh! Now that was a classic three-point landing. That'll help too. 
But he says it for Wendy Richter as she gets behind Leilani Kai. So Wendy with her Western style wrestling boots in evidence lifts her and drops her. <laughs> well, if there's any, anything to the old adage that that sort of exercise will take off weight, Lalani Kai should be fairly skinny by the time this match is over. <laughs> and Wendy tells Danny McShane to ask her. I don't know what Danny asked her, but she didn't reply. And as Leilani starts to reach out for the rope, you see Wendy getting permission. Ah, she broke the hole and broke it nicely. Good throw, stomach throw, well-placed feet, and ooh, she drove that shoulder in there. And Wendy was well stretched out when it hit. Bad fall and a knee in the midsection. So Leilani is trying to set her up. She missed her hold. She wanted to switch that time, and she's going after her for sure now. Solid exchange. She tried again to do the to, to switch her around and it didn't work. I think that time Leilani Kai set her up and gave her something to grab at and there was nothing there when she got around to grabbing it. On top, Leilani. Two and Wendy Richter is jackknife. There's Wendy fighting her way over trying to get her shoulders clear and didn't quite make it. And the, she found the mark and laid it in there and she could have a fall. Close, but underneath, Leilani is fighting to keep her shoulders up and she made it. There is Wendy Richter. Seconds, the winner, Wendy Richter. There's Wendy Richter, a better looking wrestlerette you have rarely seen in all your born days and right behind me is <laughs> mike the big one mike what did you come down here to entice me well i was wondering if me and you could make a trade what do you want to you want me to trade wendy richter for that no, sir. uh i need to get a message to my memo down in louisiana i'm going to be seeing her sunday and I, she watches Houston wrestling. I was wondering if I could tell her. Well, the trouble is that this is Houston wrestling being saved for the future. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, man, Mike, Mike, we'll, we'll change beans for Sunday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be back here in just a moment.